Hello and welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name's Stephen and today I'm going to do a walk around presentation for you of this fantastic 2010 Impreza WRX. It is, a, I believe it's a CS10 club spec. So today we're going to go through the paintwork with you, we're going to go through the features of the car and give you a really good idea of what you're looking at when you come to see this vehicle. So starting at the front here, as you can see in this nice metallic pearl white, the sun glittering off it looks really nice, gives it a, a nice uh, colour to it and really shiny too. Uh, we've got our nice he bright headlights there, our front bumper bar there with our fog lamps right down the bottom there. Our nice little low black lip spoiler there um, with the, the nice slimline number plates on the vehicle too. Now having a look at the paintwork on the car, the bar, the paintwork on the bar, a couple of minor little stone chips that have happened on the front bar. Uh, it looks like they've been touched up and we do have a couple just on the front of the um, bonnet here and they've also been touched up too. So really good, no rust in there at all. We've got our nice big open uh, air intake scoop there. It's nicely styled with the uh, WRXs as they have. And then as we're coming around to the driver's side, looking at our front guard here, we've got our indicator, we've got the CS10 club spec badging on the side there. We've got our nice uh, alloy wheels. Now we do have a little bit of gutter rashing around the side, not too much. We've got the uh, STI badge in the center there and really, really good tires on the front there. As we come further back, having a look, we've got the side skirts on the car, really nice color-coded door handles. Uh, our color-coded mirror there too. So really good, having a good look at the paintwork. Now we do have just a couple of little marks in the door here. Looks like someone else has opened the door into to this one uh, uh, there. Um, nicely tinted windows there too. So really good style, nice looking car. As we're getting to the back, We'll have a look at the roof here, really nice condition. We do have a sunroof there too, which I'll go through that. We've got our nice little short aerial for our styling on the back there too. And coming down from there, we'll have a look at the rear tyres. Very nice tyres, they do look brand new tyres on there. And very, very little bit of gutter rash there. Other than that, really, really good condition uh, wheel there. Coming around to the rear of the vehicle now, having a look at the paintwork as we come around on the back bar I have just noticed a couple of tiny little marks on the corner of the bar other than that really good condition we've got our color coded reverse sensors in there we have a minor little chip on the the top of the bar there which you kind of expect from people getting stuff in and out of the car we've got our reverse camera just here under the next to the number plate our nice chrome strips with our Impreza WRX badging and you'll see here the symmetrical all-wheel drive system badging there too so the good thing is uh, we've also got the high mount stop lamp in the rear spoiler there uh, that you can see on top of the boot so nicely color-coded rear spoiler there very nicely styled and opening up the boot have a look at that not a real big car to WRX but look at the size of that boot now there's plenty of room in there to throw plenty of luggage or even the kids if they annoy you enough I'm sure they probably enjoyed a joyride in there too so popping open the back here, we've got our nice foam cover giving, hiding a few tools here. And as you grab the cover and lift up underneath, we do have our space saver spare wheel with our jack and a few other tools there too. So everything tucks away nicely down in the bottom there. As you can see, we've got the coating on the boot too, so really keeps that sound deadening, uh, making the car nice and quiet too. So as we pop that shut, coming round to the passenger side, Looking at the paintwork on the passenger side, so far really good. Coming down, looking at the tyre on this one, uh, once again, fantastic tread on the tyre. We do have a little bit of gutter rashing on the rim there too. And I've just noticed a minor blemish on the paint there. Nothing major, but it is still there. So as we come through, looking at the side skirts, really good condition, no big scratches or anything there. Having a look at the paintwork on both the doors, really good nothing stands out as we have a really good look close look once again we've got our cs10 club spec badging on the side at the front there for the left hand side looking at the front tire really good there and even the rim we've got one tiny little mark on the rim there and i did notice in the right light you can see there is just a couple of little stone chips on the corner of the guard there now as i come around i'm going to pop the bonnet so we can see what's under 
there for you and give you a good idea of the power of this vehicle. If I can get the bonnet in one go, which I do, we've got our gas struts to lift up. Now nicely styled here too. You can see we've got our uh, cross member bar there for extra support with the power that these have. So they are a four cylinder 2.5 turbo engine. So giving you 195 kilowatts of power and 343 newton meters of torque. Now that's gonna give you a combined average of around 10.4 liters per 100 kilometers out of the 60 litre tank. That's approximately 577 kilometres of driving out of this car. Now, while we are under the bonnet, I'm not sure whether you notice, we've got a really nice big fuse here. Uh, you will see why as we go inside the car, it does have an amp and a subwoofer uh, in the side of the vehicle, which I will go through when we get into there. Okay, now to the inside of our WRX here. As you can see, we're gonna start on the right hand side here. Uh, give you a really good idea of the um, condition. We do have a little bit of a mark just on the door here. We have our window switches, our door lock button and our window lock button there. Now as I turn the steering wheel to the right a bit, we've got our mirror controls down here, our dash illumination so we can make it a little bit duller for the uh, nighttime driving. Great thing is we've got two keys with this car too. Coming up from there, we've got our headlight switch with our indicators and our fog lamp switch, so nice and easy to turn them on and off as well. On the left hand side, we've got our wiper stalk, so nice and easy to use there. And then having a look at our steering wheel, which is very nicely wrapped, we've got the nice red stitching on the inside of the steering wheel here. On the right hand side, we've got our cruise control settings. On the left hand side, we've got our radio settings, so can adjust the volume, skip through the stations. Uh, we can also mute the radio there too, and change our modes, which is really good. Coming across from there, you'll see up on our dash here, we've got our outside temperature. We've got liters per 100 kilometers. We can go through some different things there. And coming down to our stereo here, as you can see, we do have satellite navigation there, which is really good, nice and easy to use. Now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go display, and you can change your display settings. Coming down under the mode button there, we'll go to our audio, which as you can see, it's all touch screen, so nice and easy to use there going through, see if we can find some music, which you can find there. Um, so with the music, we might show you the sub afterwards just to show you how that works. Coming down from there, we've got our vents, our hazard lights and our air conditioning control. So as you can see, we can set our climate control on our left here. We've got our temperature so we can adjust that. Got our fan speed and our modes for our vents. Having a look at our five speed manual transmission, really nice. Still crystal clear on top there with our reverse, the leather down below, really good, well looked after too. Just under there, sorry, under the controls, you'll see we've got our 12 volt charge point and a nice tray to sit our phone and uh, have that charging there. A little bit of coin holder, I think, and two cup holders there. We have our subwoofer control here. So we can change our gain of how much power we want coming out of the amp into the sub and we can change the frequency too. Now what that's going to do is the sub is as you turn it up, so it might be a little bit louder, but you can change again and the, the sub is under the driver's seat and the amp is under the passenger seat. So I might uh, let our cameraman just down by his feet if he can. Uh, under the passenger seat you'll see down here we've got our amp and everything set up under the seat there and then under the driver's seat is where the subwoofer is. So has been professionally done too. As we come back up, I'll open up the center console for you. Now the good thing is we do have a really good cord here for our auxiliary port, which has got your left and right input. And there's also a 12 volt charge point there too, which is really good. So nice and easy to use. You can plug your phone into there and listen to your music as well, or an iPod, something like that. The other thing I wanted to mention was the sunroof. So as we spoke about outside, we can just pop it up and having a look so I can stick my hand out, nice vent to let the hot air out. Or if I go down, I can open it all the way up uh, there too. So for those nice days, opening it up, you stick your hands right through and then I can close it there as well. So really nice and easy to use. And you've got your little handle there to pop the cover back. You've got your center light and the roof there. 
a couple of minor little marks in the roof just where it looks like something brushed against the roof nothing really bad the other thing I'll touch on too is the service history on this vehicle so having a look at the books here you can see very well looked after got the first one done there as it's for the delivery service coming along here you've got the twelve and a half thousand twenty five thousand the thirty seven thousand fifty thousand the sixty two thousand as you can see and looking at the kilometers didn't do many kilometers at the time so going right through a hundred thousand so it's had a lot more services than what the kilometers themselves have been done as you can see 51 67 and then it goes through with the time you can see um, less than a year and they've carried out the service there too so I'm not sure what's happened in between there okay so that's our walk around video today for you of our fantastic 2010 Impreza WRX as you can see really well looked after car great service um, great vehicle if you have any more questions on the car please give us a call here at Berwick Mitsubishi on 9907 055 and thanks for watching